Hey everyone, have I here bring a video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be going over the 9 year anniversary LR priority list for the global version of the game. So with that, if you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and dive right in. And the reason why I'm making this video here is because I'm getting a lot of questions, a lot of comments saying, you know what, what units should I be prioritizing? What banners should I be summoning on? And if you're low to play, free to play, you're definitely needing to make sure you're not spending all your stones uh, badly and spending them wisely. Now, if you're, you know, full pay to play like myself, uh, you're going to be summoning on every single banner, but if you need to prioritize certain units, what you should be looking for, uh, at least trying to pick up XYZ units, uh, and then that's going to be very important. So I'm going to do the top 10 LR priority list here, and for me to actually end up doing this, I needed to actually kind of have a caveat here. I actually added two units here that technically probably wouldn't belong on the list but i'm adding the countdown celebration eza ui goku and then also i am expecting that cell max is going to be the last banner on this celebration here like ex or part three being that we did already have the eza two super vegito and buhan they need to kind of make us some kind of replacement there so i'm just going to throw in cell max here uh, given that we did not get this in the uh, rosé celebration for the global version of the game. So anyway, caveat on here. Um, that's basically how I built my list. So when I'm talking about priority lists, you know, units that you're going to be using now and for the future and what you should be you know, focusing on capturing. Now, here's the thing about the nine year anniversary. The nine year anniversary changes a lot when it comes to the game right you have a lot of different best teams like the current best teams list right now is going to be totally different after the nine year anniversary um, and then certain units are going to be again much better than they are currently right now so diving into this i just had to make sure uh, people understood that all these units that i'm going to be talking about they're all good right i'm nitpicking on saying okay if you had to choose one over the other which one would top you know each other right so let's go ahead and start with the bottom three eight through ten here and uh, of course it's not a big surprise that the ui goku the countdown unit on here is on the number 10 spot given that we know we're getting a dokkan festival exclusive lr in the tanabata celebration um the ui goku though <laughs> that unit is ridiculous uh, making this a little bit less valuable, but still, again, overall good unit. Uh, you can absolutely use this if you have this unit on many teams at this point in time. But when it comes to the priority list, when it comes to all the other LRs you're going to see in the celebration, it is basically last place. Um, moving on to the 8 9 spot are the other two EZAs during part one, and that's the EZA to Broly, Chile, and Lemo. Um, that unit is also, again, I, I'm going to say it so many times, they're all going to be good. Uh, but Broly is interesting because if you're going to be wanting to run super bosses, uh, you're going to be running, and he, he's actually not on that many units, um, you know, movie bosses and super bosses on here. Uh, he actually is a, a very, very good unit in terms of like matching up with Broly, um, you know, him possibly being in first position if you get enough orbs you know having that guaranteed dodge mechanic uh he's a pretty pretty awesome unit on there uh, on top of that the other physical eza that we're going to have is a past tanabata celebration unit in the super saiyan blue kyle cannon evolution vegeta this was a big surprise when it came out during the anniversary having both of these eza uh was very very strong but uh the super saiyan blue kyle cannon evolution vegeta just really rounds out the best team in the game is going to be superheroes uh, and not having this unit it's not like a full detriment but having this unit on the team just you know in a sense just makes it uh, so much better so uh, either way they're still on the bottom of the list when it comes to priority and uh, you know units you should be seeking out and trying to summon for or at least picking up with coins and things of that nature these would be on the bottom rung of the top 10 let's go ahead and move on to number seven number seven again is one of those caveat units the other caveat unit and that's lr cell max now again he might not be in the quote-unquote nine-year anniversary but i'm still 
thinking that it would you know close out the anniversary so if you are going to be summoning for cell max he's a yellow coin unit uh and and again i'm not saying that this list is about like who's the best unit in the game and things of that nature it's priority list on trying to capture it right so this being a new unit you're only going to be able to summon for it until he does pop up and you can pick him up with yellow coins now it is on a pity banner so being free to play low to play you got to make sure you're committing to anywhere from 700 to a thousand dragon stones to pick up this unit uh because in a sense you'll be at least guaranteed one copy but Cell Max is absolutely incredible. The only reason why he's lower on this tier list here is because he's a yellow coin LR and his leader skill. The leader skill is 150%, making this unit not very, you know, widely desirable when it comes to running it as a leader. Now, you are going to find circum circumstances where you are going to be using this as a friend leader right and, and and doing a super bosses team with that and if you have cell max on the team and using the and using the strategy of having two cell max on a team but still having half of your team being buffed up at around 200 percent uh a lot of people are using that type of strategy on here but still standalone it's 150 percent leader uh, that's the reason why even if i were to do a tier list he'd be lower on there because overall there's other uh, units that can just self-sustain this is a team game if this was like, like a solo game if that like a solo mode then yeah cell max would be easily like in the top top rung of the uh, tier list but again this is a priority list and i would say cell max is a number seven spot when it comes to priority listing uh in this grouping here so let's go ahead and move on then to the number five and number six spot the number five and number six spot uh no surprise is going to be the um, the Carnival banners. So Carnival uh, Vegeta Blue and Carnival Gammas on here. Again, both incredible units to run. However, um, you do the leader skill. Even though they're at 200%, they have a ton, a ton of other options to run as leaders, making this less valuable when it comes to the leader side. However, their kits are very very strong especially the gammas which is provides you as a support unit for superheroes and then uh is kind of a almost a, a must run if you're going to be running the god topo special pose uh because that provides a lot of support as well so um so that unit there uh you know along with gogeta Gogeta is one of those units that you're going to be running on a, on, on a ton of different teams. Uh, whoever he, team he's going to be running on, he's going to be solid on that team. So uh, the thing is, again, movie heroes, <laughs> there's so many movie heroes leaders. It does, you know, drop his stock a little bit down here, but still in the top five. I think Gogeta, if you want to summon for him being in the top five, you absolutely, you know, should be look out for his banner and 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 put a little bit of dragon stones in that banner and hopefully go ahead and pull so um so the question is now you're like wait a minute there's <laughs> the major banners or two banners are gone but there's still four units left and yes you're absolutely right uh which then let's go ahead and, and focus on the number four spot is going to be the broly so broly is kind of contentious here uh some people love him some people hate him i i don't know why but broly is kind of a almost a must have he's kind of in between a must have and a great to have unit uh because the leader skill could be better right if this was like a triple triple leader leader, leader skill that can run more 200 percent but he is a super bosses and super bosses uh with the cell max with the upgrades on other units that you can run um turns into very a very 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 strong team so if you want to run a top tier extreme team you kind of have to have broly right so um again that <laughs> the the whole issue of the domain that does cause uh, issues with the other super bosses leader in the physical rose but ultimately i think broly is going to be a, a better leader overall uh, even though he is actually built as a floater unit a third position unit uh versus like a main rotation unit but still i think there's as higher value than the carnival units on there and plus its banner and we'll talk about its ba uh, these banners in just one bit uh is uh, is a lot better than the carnival banners that you're able to summon for these units on so 
finally let's come to the top three you're like wait a minute then you have the dokkan fest and then you have the two carnival units what's left well what's left are basically the three best units that you're able to pick up in the global version game after the nine year anniversary um and that's going to be easy a ui goku or mui goku and evolution vegeta and then of course beast gohan now the these three units are in a sense a must-have units they're they're on the best teams they make other teams just incredibly incredibly good so for example the vegeta that unit there alone is going to make the um super saiyan vegeta the um the uh, dokkan festival exclusive uh, big bang vegeta that team alone gets a huge boost from this unit being being on that team getting easy aid and being on that team so uh the value is just incredibly high and technically all three of these can run as leaders because mui goku and evolution vegeta they're 180 percent leaders which is still a lot better than 150 uh but it can still hold their own when it comes to building a team so uh, and then of course ui goku we know that it's going to be the best friend of um of the tech dokkan festival exclusive uh, ui goku mui goku they're going to be partners grand but then ui goku you can just run him on a multitude of different teams and he is fantastic uh, i still think if you're looking at a kind of a tier list kind of scenario i think vegeta is slightly ahead by a little bit right but they're both very similar when it comes to um you know usefulness in the game and then prioritizing you need to have these units if you don't have them for some pair of reason you know these are older units on here that's getting the early easy yays uh you definitely want to summon for them and uh, but that's going to be very easy and I'll, I'll, I'll show you one in a second and why in a second so of course beast gohan is right now easily the best unit in the game um the, the leader skill the kit everything on there some people are saying like cell max is number two i i have to totally this great it's passive skill sure but if you look at the amount of teams that that unit's on and its leader skill you you have to drop the stock and and uh, again being a yellow coin uh unit on there whereas gohan he's on a lot of your teams he can run basically the best team in the game again this is a team aspect uh game on here um without a doubt it's the number one priority that everybody in global should be shooting for however it is going to be in part two of the celebration and not part one so again use your stones wisely throughout this uh on here so um so again this is a priority list with uh, the cell max and the easy a ui goku which technically might not be able to summon uh four on here uh would be very difficult to um i am gonna talk about then kind of a summoning priority list and when you're looking at banners that you're going to be summoning on these are going to be the units that you're going to be focus uh, focusing on and trying to pick up and basically i just added the uh, worldwide celebration units as the priority units that you should be looking out for um versus you know if cell max does not drop in the nine year anniversary and then i don't even think a banner for easy a goku is right now right so you have to summon on the lr banners uh, the carnival banners to try to pick them up as a non-featured so uh, anyway so if you're kind of doing a summoning priority list this is probably what it should look like here uh, i put Murzumasu further up because he is one of those units that you do want to have in the game uh, if you don't if you did not pick him up from the uh, the worldwide celebration and let's say you don't have like the the zamasu super saiyan blue kaioken Bro Broly, the uh, Broly Chimu Lemma, or the um, Vegito Blue, right? And you had red coins to use. Well, technically, you wouldn't have red coins for Broly, but um, uh, for Broly uh, or Chili uh, Lemma and Broly, I would still say you should probably pick up Zamasu because you, you need some sort of extreme class leader especially if you're if you don't have the full power broly right so um so that's the reason why i have him on the number seven spot uh versus like um super saiyan blue cow canon evolution vegeta which is a better unit right again this is not a tier list it's a better unit but uh for the priority list i say zamasu is is probably what you want to pick up now the interesting thing about this right is how crazy strong the gohan banner is right so based on my list here the gohan banner has four out of the top 10 units you should prioritize for 
it's wild so this banner is a must summon summon as much as you can you know rainbow your mui goku and evolution vegeta try to pick up a couple extra dupes or copies of the vegeta blue and try to get as many uh gohan copies as possible it's it's tremendous how strong uh that banner is but then you have other banners like the broly banner has three of these units on here the weakest banner is going to be the gamma banner the gamma banner yes if you don't have maybe like bulma bulma's on that banner um you know has some value when it comes to featured but uh, that's a tough banner and that's why i brought him a little bit lower even though again it's an incredible unit uh, brought him a little bit lower when it, in terms of the top four new units that you are seeking out for in Beast Gohan, Full Power Broly, uh, Gogeta, um, the Gammas are unfortunately the bottom when in terms of banners and summoning for. So anyway, uh, let's talk about just kind of breaking this down here when in terms of like must have the top three are must have uh, Full Power Broly is kind of like in between here. It just depends. Let's say you don't have like physical Go physical uh, Goku Black Rose. You might want to put them on top because uh, you want that Super Bosses category lead. Um, and but let's say you do you have that rainbow or that unit rainbow that's a good substitution may just be great to have so he's got an in between on there same thing for Gogeta, uh, Cell Max, um, the Gammas and then very helpful units would be the uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken and Broly, uh, Chili Lemon and Broly and then finally the, again I just needed to put another unit on here to talk about uh, when it turns to this video here which is the uh, the UI Goku ECA so. Uh, still great unit but that's why there's like no like d tier on this it's, they're all they're all solid so anyway hopefully this helped you guys out when it comes to thinking about who to summon for who to pick up with coins um this is in a sense what the, my priority list looks like uh, agree disagree let me know uh summons versus just again still hoping for cell max as the final banner on there but anyway Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video here. If you're new to my channel, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.